Hi, Wes here, Airstream Wanderings. Thanks for joining me today. A while back, I learned that there were a few native people hundreds of years ago who figured out how to make glazed decorations on their pottery. They didn't glaze the whole pot. Pots are still earthenware, low fired, but they did make decorations, painting that was glazed. And archaeologists have kind of figured out what the materials were, and some people have had spotty success with glazing parts of pottery. But to my knowledge, no one has been able to replicate this on a reliable basis, and that has got me interested. So today I am going to talk about mineral paints and glaze, and if you hang in there to the end, I'm going to make a very hot fire. Archaeologists have found that the main ingredients for paint colors in Native American pottery, at least the mineral ones, are manganese, uh, iron, and copper. And so I'm going to try all of these and just real briefly uh, have copper carbonate, which I purchased online. Uh, most of these minerals I got from my cousin-in-law. Shout out to Heidi. Thank you for that. You have malachite, turquoise, azurite, cuprite, and criscola. These are all related in one way or another to copper. Uh, then manganese, which is a typical material used for black mineral paint. Found that in New Mexico. This is iron oxide. All those red rocks down in the southeast have iron in them. And then this is galena. Galena is a lead ore, uh, which was used to make a glaze paint. And that's one of the things we want to try and do is figure out how to actually make glaze paint. These are all the different materials that I'm going to be using in that little experiment. Here are all of the different minerals. What I've done is mix them up with two part mineral, one part ball clay, a little bit of bee weed liquid to act as a binder and then some water. And then I will uh, paint them in the different sections of this red slipped pot. The first group will just have minerals and clay. The second group will have minerals plus galena and clay. And I will show you how that all works out. Here is the finished pot. I have eight different minerals. Uh, on the inside, these minerals are mixed with a little bit of clay and water to make a paint plus galena. On the outside, same minerals, but they all have galena mixed in with them to see if this will glaze or not. This particular pot is slipped with a red slip. This is pottery that is unslipped, same minerals as over here with galena. My plan for this is to fire it as hot a temperature as I can get to see if that makes any difference. So the project is ready to be fired, and the next step is to go outside. In 2150 degrees is the most I've seen so far. Here is the pot that uh, is, has been fired. It got fired about 1400 degrees. Uh, and so the fire was fine. And in fact, the, the red slip on this turned out nice too. Uh, so these are looking all at all of the different kinds of ores. And it was interesting. None of them turned out to be a fancy color of any sort. They're all kind of basically uh, black. So I will show you a picture side by side, the before and the after. One thing that did surprise me, most of these are, uh, are fugitive. Uh, they didn't stick and I, that confuses me. I don't know why, because the ores were mixed with roughly uh, one third clay. So they should have been good. Uh, so I'm not sure what the story is with that. 
it is also interesting to me that uh, some of the colors turned out uh, a little different than I would expect. This color here, this is manganese dioxide. That's what a lot of people use for just black paint. That's what I typically use. And it is not as black as some of the other ones. These black ones over here, uh, these are cuprite, azurite, and then copper carbonate. Uh, so this one is a store-bought copper carbonate. Um, and that's pretty black. So I can see good reasons to uh, mix them together uh, different colors. Uh, the really white one here, this is just plain galena. Uh, now one of the things that I wanted to test was about glazing. The larger designs on the outside, these are all the copper ores or different kinds of ores uh, mixed with galena. None of them glaze. There's no evidence of glazing here. Uh, so that tells me that, well, at least the, the temperature, 1400 degrees or so, is not enough. But I have another uh, piece to show you where we did get a different outcome. If nothing else, though, this is very useful just as a, um, a hint as to what we might use for different kinds of ores to make a black paint. This is the experiment where everything came together for our glazing. Plain pottery, no, uh, no slip on it at all. And then these are all the ores that have been mixed with galena. I'm going to go through these real quickly. Some worked really well, I think. Some not so much. This one uh, surprised me, actually. This is just manganese dioxide all by itself. Uh, and it glazed some, but not a lot. And it turned kind of brown. Although that, that color might be useful for pottery. This one worked out pretty good. Uh, malachite. Uh, I see even glazing there. And again, I, the, the lighting here may not be great. Uh, it's best I could do. This is turquoise. It did not work out in any experiment, so we can cross that off the list. This is chrysocolla. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Uh, not so great. There's actually a little bit of a greenish tinge to that. That might be useful to a certain extent, but it's a light color. These next three are the ones that really kind of got a really nice black. Uh, cuprite, azurite, and copper carbonate. These are minerals uh, that I ground up from the field. This is a powdered copper, copper carbonate that I bought online. This one surprised me a little bit. Iron oxide. It's red, uh, but I see no glazing with that or very minimal. It just uh, didn't, for whatever, whatever reason, iron and the galena aren't turning to glaze. Uh, this final one, which is real pale, is just straight galena all by itself. And that is the outcome I expected. It typically is transparent all by itself. It needs to be mixed with another ore to do the trick. Down here, I did some other mixing. This is galena, manganese, and azurite. Decent glazing, good color, a nice black. Uh, I think the best one of all, is, this is galena, manganese, and copper carbonate. And I apply these pretty thick. And finally, uh, this is galena, manganese, dioxide. Whenever I say manganese, I mean manganese dioxide uh, and iron oxide. Uh, there's a little bit of a brownish tinge to it, a little bit of glazing, but not very much. Didn't have good results with the iron, but the uh, copper seems to work pretty well uh, with with the galena. Overall, really happy with this. this. We're headed in the right direction. Now what I plan to do is mix up some of these paints, actually make a regular pot, and fire it as hot as I can possibly fire it. That's one of the things. I don't know what the right temperature is, but I know it needs to be hot. And we need it to be consistently hot around the entire vessel that we are firing. So that will be the next step and see if I can get a consistent color all the way around whatever pot I make. I am I'm happy with the way things have come out of making good progress, I think, in figuring out the glaze mystery. Uh, and thank you for coming along today. I appreciate that. I love your comments. Uh, certainly appreciate the thumbs up and those kinds of things. And until next time. Uh, this is Wes with Airstream Wanderings wishing you 
health, happiness, peace, and love. Take care. Bye-bye.